Hello friends, I'm Anushri and I have a video where I'll be making a Diwali card. Two stamp sets from Tubby Craft I'll be using Diwali Ganesha and Diwali Greetings. I will be using red color cardstock, watermark ink, Tubby Craft acrylic block and a circle die cut. First, I'll be attaching the circle die cut with clear glue on the red color cardstock. I'm attaching it uh, almost in the center of the cardstock as per my design, but you can attach it with, uh, wherever you wish. Now I'm applying static powder so that I can uh, do the heat emboss embossing to the card. After applying this, it comes out pretty neat. I've chosen this Rangoli stamp set. This stamp uh, from Diwali Greetings stamp set. Applying watermark ink to the stamp and then I'll be making the design around the circle. You can see how neatly the stamping comes when the powder, static powder is applied. You can see the pattern is coming out pretty neat. The stamp is pretty intricate uh, but I liked how neatly it is coming out. I am hoping the same with the when the embossing will be done. Next I am removing the circle die cut. Because of the glue it leaves a little mark in the center where I have applied the clear glue. But that's not gonna affect uh, our card design. Now the places where we applied watermark ink, we need to uh, put the gold embossing powder. Spread it neatly and uh, easily. Shake off the extra. I generally do this uh, whole process on a separate sheet so that I can put back the extra embossing powder back in the jar without wasting too much uh, of the powder. Let's keep it aside. Now it's time to heat emboss the card. I'm not sure if you can see in the video how neatly the gold embossing is turning out on uh, red cardstock. Generally for occasions like Diwali and all these festive uh, festivals we like all the bright colors. So that's why I've chosen uh, red as my base for this card.
looking at the stamp design uh, i'm getting more ideas for the festival also if you see the design it will give you some ideas for crown of uh, durga ma for durga puja and all next uh, is ganesha stamp set i have planned uh, to do gold embossing with this stamp set on a white card stock again i'll be using the watermarking with gold embossing powder and heat tool Here is my finished image where I have done the gold embossing. Now it's time to fill in colors in the Ganesha picture. I have tried picking all the bright colors from Tubby Craft uh, ink pads. The best part about these ink pads is uh, that they are definitely one of the best for stamping when it comes to crisp uh, stamping but even for coloring uh, i really like them because you just need a water brush a little water aside so you can see here i'm taking the colors directly from the stamp pad picking colors from the stamp pad is far easier If I wish I can uh, darken the tone by applying more color by adding more water I can lighten the tone Tappy Craft has a nice uh, variety of colors in 20 colors I have and all the colors are really nice bright uh, even lighter shades are there so all shades have their own uh, beautiful influence the pads are pretty juicy i have made some cards in the past uh, doing ink blending with the same ink pads and uh, trust me the ink blending is also uh, it was such a nice uh, experience and it came out really well So just how we use watercolors we can use these ink pads uh, as our uh, watercolors For the skin tone I'm using the uh, orange with a little bit more of water to get the skin tone I've used little green, red, yellows, blues Next is I have to wipe off all the powder which I applied on the cardstock Now I'll be attaching the Ganesha picture, the stamped image with double-sided foam tape. Next is the sentiment. I have gold embossed, uh, heat embossed the sentiment also. I've used Shubh Dipavali from uh, Diwali Greetings. 
I'll be attaching them also with the double sided foam only. To add little bit more interest to the card, I am using this uh, adhesive beaded strip. This one I have bought from local market. It has adhesive from the back. I am planning to only put it on the two opposite sides, the left and right part of the card. I am cutting it from the center, so two rows on each side. I don't want to make uh, the border very thick right now. Since the adhesive is there on the back side of uh, the strip, it's far easy to attach it. Attaching it on the other side as well. There's a little bit extra on the top which I'll be folding. My card is complete. Hope you like the card. Please come back for more videos. I'll be sharing many more such ideas. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again. Bye-bye.